If you make a mistake and you need to rip back your knit below stitches, you can just tink them and when you get to a knit below, put your needle through both loops like this and remove it from your needle. So now that knit below stitch will be worked just by knitting both of those loops together. However, if you weren't supposed to knit that stitch as a knit below, you're going to need to re-knit your previous stitch. So if it, the stitch was worked as a knit, then you're going to just pull that loop through so that it looks like a knit stitch. However, if that stitch was a purl, where you, you look at it and you can see the purl bump, you're gonna bring that working yarn to the front, and then you're gonna pick, pick that stitch up through the back, like that. I just split my yarn, so let me show you again. We don't wanna split our yarn. Okay, so the darker color is my lower stitch, and this loop of yarn was my upper stitch. And I had knit on the back, which gives me a purl bump on the front. So the yarn comes to the front. You can use a crochet hook if it's easier for you. And I'm gonna scoop that yarn through the loop toward the back so that it gives me a purl bump and then put it back on my needle. So that's how you would take out a knit one below. Remember, if you just need to, like if you knit it with the wrong color and you just need to take it out, then you just put both loops back on your needle. And then when you would get to that stitch again, you could just re-knit through both of those loops. But if you had to fix it, you're going to either knit or purl through the bottom loop with the top loop of yarn. So this is the purl one, the yarn comes to the front and you scoop it backward through the loop or if it was a knit stitch, the yarn is in back and you scoop it forward through the loop.